Hi, my name is Freddy, and in this presentation, I'm going to be giving a brief overview and a couple of examples of the motors used in FRC. So, what are motors? Well, hopefully you'll already have some kind of idea of what a motor is and what it does. But the motor, which is one of the most basic and essential parts of a FRC robot, converts electrical power to mechanical power. This allows the motor shaft to spin, which gives the robot the ability to move and complete tasks within a match. FRC teams have a massive selection of motors, so let's look into a couple of them. The NEO series. The NEO series are some of the most commonly used motors by FRC teams. In the picture, you can see that the NEO 550, which is this one on the right side, is essentially a smaller and less powerful version of the regular NEO, which is this one. For 2468 last year, the regular NEOs were used on the drive base while the NEO 550s were used on the turret, hood, and transfer. Because a regular NEO has such a high output power, it is typically used on the drive base or high load mechanisms. Meanwhile, the NEO 550's smaller size and thus smaller output power makes it extremely versatile and usable on many non-drivetrain mechanisms. It is also important to note that NEOs can only be wired to the 40 amp circuit breaker on the PDP while the NEO 550 is wired to the 30 amp circuit breaker. And actually, both motors use the SparkMax motor controller, and the encoder port on the SparkMax must be used with the built-in encoder on the NEO. The Falcon 500. The Falcon 500 is also an extremely powerful motor and was used on the hang winch on last season's bot. One thing that has its pros and cons with the Falcon 500 is its integrated motor controller and encoder. Each wire connection on your robot is a potential failure point, a loose wire, a bad crimp, or something plugged in backwards. All of these can lead to significant problems during a match. So the pro is that, you could, as you can tell uh, from this diagram right here, having an integrated motor controller simplifies wiring and it reduces a point of contact that can possibly result in failure. But the con is that if you find yourself in the unfortunate position of breaking a falcon, you would have to buy an entirely new motor and motor controller, which would be very costly. The Falcon, similar to uh, the Neo, is an extremely powerful uh, motor, so it is used for high load mechanisms, again similar to the Neo. Okay, now moving on to the bag motors, which were used on the intake and hook on the robot last year. Small, light, and medium powered, Bag motors, similar to NEO 550s, work very well for intakes and many other mechanisms. However, since the bag is a relatively older model, it doesn't contain an integrated encoder, and you would have to find a separate one. Bags are overall a solid motor, simply because they are very robust and can really take a beating. Just note that there are other different types of motors that are also pretty commonly used by FRC teams, but these are just the motors that our team, 2468, prefers. Hopefully, after you've seen a couple examples of these motors and understand their purposes, you'll have a better idea of the different components that we work with in the electronics subteam. Although we're currently unable to meet in person, and electronics is a pretty hands-on subteam, I still encourage everyone to continue to learn, so that when we do come back, you'll already have a good idea of everything we're going to be working with.